I'm Hank for the Wildflower Bee Farm and Treatment Free Beekeeping. This is a shot of my dad some 35 plus years ago, shaking off a swarm into a box of one of, uh, from one of our cherry trees. This was a fruit farm, 50 acres, that gradually our project was to convert it back over to nature and the honeybee. The history is pretty straightforward. We, we had a fruit farm that eventually sort of outgrew us. I became involved with a lot of different things. Our children grew up, moved away. So Mary and I decided one day, because I was trying to find a little plot of land to plant garlic, no kidding, that's all it was, about the size of your kitchen table. And I couldn't find a little piece of land that wasn't impacted by pesticides. So I thought, this is kind of crazy. Why don't we do something for nature and also so I can have a little plot of garlic? And in turn, we started the wildflower bee farm. So today, this is now April. So we started this in 2020. This is our fifth year now as I speak, um, from April uh, 2024 today. And you can see this was the original farm. The last year we had cash crops, which would have been corn, field corn that was Roundup ready. And all around us are similar types of farm operations. So what we're able to do is totally convert this back to nature. And now as we enter our fifth year, this farm is completely flipped over to nature. We have clovers, we have tall grass prairie, we have other trees, we have hundreds of different species, and we continue to struggle to better understand how our bees can survive in the middle of this agricultural zone. All around us are GMO and uh, Roundup and helicopters are spraying um, uh, corn earworm pesticides and all kinds of things. And the question is, uh, can our bees survive and how can we help them? We're also involved in reforesting or rewilding different projects in Nova Scotia, Canada, where we're introducing bee nests made out of hollowed out logs. And with our partner, our, our hive monitoring partner, Vosker, we're going to be able to see when they become occupied and study those bees in nature. This is an exciting time here on the bee farm. We're excited because our hives, we have two survivor hives that continue to thrive and we hope over time we can continue to better understand the puzzle of how to match nature with mankind. This is our fifth year of the project and you can see from this beautiful monarch butterfly. The vegetation has just surpassed our expectations and we have wildlife, hundreds of different wildflowers, and we continue to work to better understand our honeybees. It's been a long difficult struggle from dealing with uh, many of our honeybees dying because of pesticide exposure, trying to better understand how we can try to fit nature into this pocket of incredible agriculture, and then expanding to our bee nests in Nova Scotia, Canada that you'll learn more about in future videos. We also want to thank our partners, Vosker, incredible partners, EOS Data Systems, OSR Clinics, that are helping us do the work for seven generations from now. So this is seventh generation thinking, and we're so proud to be able to bring this to you. Again, I'm Hank at the Wildflower Bee Farm. Things are about to get rocking as it's April. And we'll keep you posted. Remember to check our videos. Use our free coloring books if you have children or grandchildren. And let's all work and enjoy this together. Have an amazing day.